best friend welcome welcome back to my channel it's your girl and i'm back with another video so the first thing i want to let y'all know is y'all might hear mason in the background throughout this video the second thing i want y'all to know i did get engaged february 25th here is my ring this is not the original ring if you guys want a story time it's not really a story time but if you guys want to know the story behind the ring just let me know in the comments below but yeah let's go ahead and jump into this video today is friday y'all know what that means it is time for another video from your girl all right your girl had to come out of her glasses because the glare was killing me but today i'll be sh telling you guys um my waiting plans pretty much this is a highly requested video i will have some timestamps in the description below or you know throughout this video for you guys because this first portion i'm just going to let you guys know for the people that are watching this video that are planning a wedding i'm giving y'all like advice pretty much because this is my second wedding and then the other the last half of the uh, video i'm going to be telling you guys my plans for my own wedding so yeah so if you are planning your own wedding first i want to let you guys know that this is this is plans for a small wedding very small wedding low budget wedding so just keep that in mind if you plan on having a bunch of people at your wedding you might not want to watch this video you could take a couple of notes i mean there might be some tips some you know this video still might help you but i'm just letting you know this is this is plans for a low budget wedding okay first thing you want to do is get your guest list you need your fiance you know y'all figure out who y'all want at your wedding like i said this is a small wedding so close families and friends you know people you know don't show up all right once you got your guest list and how many people you want at your wedding the next thing you want to figure out is your budget you want to figure out how much you want to spend you want to figure out who you want at your bridal party and y'all need to figure out what day about around an estimate about when you want to get married because once you ask the people uh certain people that you want in your bridal party they'll ask questions like that even though it's completely fine if you don't have an answer to other questions the bridal party that can that consists of all of your groomsmen your bridesmaids your maid of honor your best man your flower girl or girls your ring barrier or ring barriers um whoever you want to walk down the aisle with you that consists of all those people next you want to figure out what colors you want like your theme or whatever i advise you to get maybe a three ring binder i got a three ring binder to plan everything to write everything down um i got a three ring binder and then i got the dividers here it says my you see that it says ceremony reception honeymoon uh attire and important numbers you can you know put her whatever categories you want you can also use a notebook this is what i'm using right now it's working for me right now I probably don't even go back to that three ring, three ring binder i'll probably just use it for like a scrapbook you can use a three ring binder or a piece of paper and notebook whatever because honey you're gonna need it you're gonna need to write stuff down okay so listen i want to let y'all know that with the wedding in my experience the thing that costs the most to me is the catering at the reception the reception is going to cost you the most money when it comes to the wedding and the reception the reception is by far the most expensive thing of this whole process the research that i did some people don't even have food at the reception they have um maybe appetizers or they just serve cake i mean i've never been to a wedding like that but it's been done so <laughs> Um, you can uh, have someone cook the food for you that's you know, like a close family or friend that'll save you a ton of money like oh my gosh I'm not catering let's just put that out there like no this is low budget over here so keep that in mind and next thing you want to do is figure out where you want to get married your venues you want to figure out where you want to get married and where you want to have your reception a lot of people do both in one like just have one venue where they get married at and then have the reception you know right there in that same room and at that same venue next if it's not like at a church or anything you need to figure out an efficient someone to marry you they need to figure out um how you're going to decorate the wedding venue and the reception venue find a decorator for that um you need to figure out a photographer to do your engagement pictures and the you know, take pictures of your wedding and reception someone to film it a videographer i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna take snapshots of this the notes that i have here because this is a really good notes i feel like anyway i basically planned my whole wedding most of my wedding on um in this notebook i think i'm just gonna take pictures and post it on my instagram so if you're not following me on instagram it is lakia j90 l-a-k-i-a j90 so if you're not following your girl make sure you do if you are 
wanting to you know know exactly what i'm reading from right now all right so this is the part of the video where i tell y'all my plans for my own wedding we are planning to have 25 guests at our wedding that includes adults and kids our budget is 3600 right now it was 3000 it could be less than that that includes our honeymoon and things like that too so 3600 is our budget our our wedding party consists of three people on each side i will have a maid of honor and two bridesmaids and he'll have one best man and two girls groomsmen plan on having two rain barriers which is going to be mason and um the two youngest boys of ours mason and noah and the flower girls plan on having someone from each each um of our side like someone on his side and someone on my side but i'm not entirely entirely sure yet but for right now i know i have at least one it could possibly end up being two we're getting married at a church we don't have a church home yet um the only church we attend right now is his mom's church which might end up being the place we get married at but i'm not entirely sure because her church has two entrances into you know the church and i really prefer a you know one aisle but i might can work it out because i can have like a groomsman and a bridesmaid going down you know the entrance together or something like that i don't know i can probably work it out i'm not sure but we are gonna get married at a church and then the reception venue i think i'm gonna have at like a banquet hall at a hotel or something like that that's what i have in mind right now but i'm not entirely sure yet my engagement photos is getting taken by my maid of honor she's a photographer she will be in my photographer the whole thing but she's gonna be in the wedding so she can't be my photographer but she is going to take our engagement pictures for free as a gift to us, which is super cool. I plan on having a sand ceremony at my wedding to, um, I think it'll be really cool. Um, I'll have like seven glasses, two for me and, um, Jonathan. And then I'll have the other five for the other boys to put, you know, it'd be super cool to like, cause we're a blended family. So that'll be a nice ceremony to do. So our wedding colors is basically red and white. It's red, white, black, and silver, but the basic colors is red and white. I'm going to have my bridal party walking in to a song, and then I'm going to walk into another song. Originally, I was going to have everybody walking into one song, but the way the song goes, um, once the beat drops in the song, I want to be walking out. And if I have everybody walking to that song, my uh, bridal party is going to have to walk out really fast so i think i'm gonna just have them walking out so far i don't know what song they're gonna walk out to but it'll probably be an instrumental and then my song which is endless love from i know mariah carey's in the song i, I forgot who song it belongs to but mariah carey's in that song but that is my song i'll be walking down to i don't have anyone i don't have a videographer I'm planning on asking someone, uh, one of my family members to film it for me. So the bouquet, I will probably go like the Michaels or something. That's what I did the first time I got married. I went to like Michaels or a craft store and they sell like bouquets in there and get my bridesmaids theirs from, get theirs from there. And then with me, I'm going to have two bouquets. I'm going to have one for the wedding and then the one for the reception that I have to toss. That's going to be like a whole nother bouquet because you know once i throw that this gown it ain't mine no more so i'm gonna have two different bouquets so with the food like i said that is the most expensive part of the wedding i'm not gonna do any catering so far i'm planning on having trying to find someone to cook the food for me i'll provide the food i'll pay for the food you know i don't even know what food we're going to be serving yet i'm pretty sure it's not going to be that expensive i'm planning on spending maybe like 700 dollars on food which catering is way more than that it's like from what the little bit that I googled of, which scared me, because like I said, a little bit of googling that I did, a little bit of research that I did on catering, the one thing I saw scared me. Like I did not want to keep researching. Like it was a done deal. Kid is not, not catering. So what I saw was like ninety five dollars a head. I have twenty five people. That is two. Th that's too much. That's like two thousand over two thousand dollars just for the food. Are you crazy? So catering is out the door for me. I found someone to decorate my reception. I'm not sure if she can decorate my wedding venue. I think I might decorate that on myself, but if she can do it, I'll probably have her do it because she's only charging $100. I thought it was going to be way more than that. She doesn't run a business or anything like that. But so far, I'm leaning on this lady doing it. So I already know the DJ that I want. Um, it's someone I used to work with. And the DJ is only charging me $185 for four hours, which is way less than what I thought. I thought it was going to be like $500, $300 at least. 
500. The wedding cake, I'm planning on getting, this might be a little ghetto, a little ratchet, but I'm getting from Walmart, honey. I'm getting a cake made from Walmart, cause I mean, don't be sleeping on Walmart. They got some nice cakes. Um, it's gonna be a two tier cake. I'm um, not sure if I'm gonna do a red velvet, like inside it's gonna be red velvet. But the outside is going to be white, and I'm a, I want to have, like, roses on it somewhere. Red Velvet is Jonathan's favorite cake. Me and Jonathan like Red Velvet, and I want the inside of our cake to be Red Velvet if I can. If not, it'll probably be white in the inside. But if I don't get it done at Walmart, I do know some people here that make cakes, you know, and it's not, it's like 100, 150, something like that. So that's not that bad. Um, The cake top I want to use is not the traditional kind where it's like the man and the woman on there. I'm going to have, like, it's saying Mr. and Mrs. And then I'm going to have, whenever we, leave, you know, leave the venue, I want to have like a sparkler picture where everybody's holding sparklers and stuff like that. That'll be really pretty. So our first dance is going to be perfect from Ed Sharon. Love that song. The lyrics match is so perfect, y'all. Um, That's going to be our first dance song. And I want Jonathan and his mom to dance. I'm not sure what song they're going to dance to yet. That's something he'll probably pick out. So the honeymoon. Planning for us to have a two-day cruise to the Bahamas for our honeymoon. But Jonathan's not really, you know, feeling the whole cruise thing, being on the water. Our plans is to go to the Bahamas, a two-day cruise. Um, if not, we will end up being at Myrtle Beach, which is the beach that you guys see in a lot of our vlogs. When we say we're going to the beach, that's where we're going. It's an hour and a half away from here. So I'm pretty, I almost feel like that's probably what we're going to end up doing. But I really want to do the cruise. If not, we'll do it for our anniversary. But I really want to do it. I'm going to try and talk them into it. All right, now let's discuss the wedding, the reception, and the honeymoon. Now I'm going to discuss my attire. Well, let's start off with the groom the groom and the groomsmen so with them they're going to wear black tux black shoes and a red, either a red tie or that red flower thing i don't know what it's called but you know there's pretty simple the girls is pretty simple too um by bridesmaids and maid of honor all will be wearing red dresses i'm not entirely sure what color red with our colors i'm not sure like what type of red if it's going to be like a wine red or a candy apple red but whatever red we choose, um, that's what they're going to do is get a red dress, a long red dress. I don't care, like, the style as long as it's a, um, a long red dress. And they have to wear silver shoes. They don't have to be heels. They can be flip-flops as long as they're silver. That's that. So, with my attire, I plan to have my hair down. I am plan on trying out a lace front. I never had a lace front before. I'm probably gonna have like a test run where I get my hair done way before the wedding or you know while I'm engaged I'm gonna get a lace front for the first time to see how it does um, but I'm planning on having my hair completely down curly or I'm gonna have it half up and half down where half you know half of it's looking the back of it's down I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear a veil or not I already know what dress I want it's gonna be from David's Bridal I will have a video of me you know trying on dresses and stuff like that when I go to David's Bridal to do that that probably won't be until either later on this year or to be sometime next year but I will film it for you guys I already have in mind what kind of um dress I want I'm not sure if I want to discuss it with y'all because <laughs> Jonathan probably is going to watch these videos, but why not? So, I'm planning on having a strapless a strapless dress. It will be a ball gown. I think it's going to be a ball gown. I know underneath it, I'll have like a petticoat. It's like a slip, but it's like, like it makes the dress poof up. It's a pet, It's called a petticoat, I think. Or I will have um, the mermaid style. So, I do have a, someone to do my makeup. One of my friends, she will be doing my makeup for free and i'm super grateful she's doing it as a gift to me and i'm just gonna look bomb honey so my shoes so far i'm planning definitely gonna have on like these all white converses i'm probably gonna bling it out you know make it look all cute but i'm definitely gonna wear my converses to the reception but i'm not entirely sure if i'm gonna wear it to the wedding so i think i will because especially if you can't see my feet either wear the converses as I walk down the aisle or I'll wear some heels. I'm not sure yet. But I know I'm definitely going to have some Converse's. And then my jewelry, I'm planning on getting from like Claire's or Amazon or maybe even Paparazzi. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all this is low budget. But they, I mean, I might have, it's just for one day, y'all. 
It's just the one day. Yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. I think, I, you know, I think that's pretty much it that I have planned so far. I don't have a wedding registry yet. I honestly don't even know where to even do a wedding registry at. I never did one before. But once I do the wedding registry, either I will let you guys know on my community tab. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe to your girl. So you will see and um, either that or I'll just list it in the description box below, you know, as soon as that becomes available. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I hope I help anybody that's watching that is planning a wedding. Hopefully you decide to subscribe. Thumbs up that button if you enjoyed it. And I will talk to y'all for the next video. Bye.